And welcome back to the anime and manga news for the week ending Friday, October 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. <coughs> A scary day. Despite the fact that very little happened this week, frankly, in the realm of anime news. But a few things to talk about, certainly. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, so... Uh, there is a new Tomorrow's Joe anime on the horizon. Ashida no Joe, or Tomorrow's Joe, being a famous, incredibly famous, boxing manga and anime from the 70s. One of the most popular anime of the 70s, and probably of all time. Uh, I believe uh, one of its episodes is on the like top 20 most watched you know, episodes on television list. So we're getting a new... Tomorrow's Joe anime coming in 2018. Uh, no news on exactly when. Uh, spring, actually, 2018. So, a little ways away, but not too too bad. Um, this will be a new TV anime series celebrating the 50th anniversary of the original manga. Um, and with a, a new story uh, following a man named JD, or Junk Dog, who participates in fixed boxing matches and then enters the ring again, but encounters a certain person. Um, let's guess who that is. Um, animation director for Master Keaton and a uh, woman called Fujiko Mine, the third uh, uh, anime, will be uh, working on that, redirecting it. Also concept designer on Attack on Titan. Um, as well as a Fist of the North Star vet working, uh, overseeing and writing scripts. So, here's hoping. Uh, the composer for Kids on the Slope will be doing the music, which is pretty pretty cool. So that's kind of surprising that we're getting a new Tomorrow's Joe anime in this day and age. But again, cool, not complaining. Also, we're getting a TV anime adaptation of Major Second. Um, why should you care? Well, Major is a massively popular baseball manga, uh, which has this uh, sequel series called Major Second. To get an idea, when I say how massive, um, Major, the manga called Major, was released over the course of 78 volumes. Not issues, volumes. That's how big and how long it is. It went from 1994 to 2010, so 15 years of that one baseball manga, and this is the sequel, Major Second, revolving around, I believe, the son or the grandson of the, uh, protag the son of the protagonist from the first season. So, Pretty big franchise, getting a new anime coming out next year. Cool, cool stuff. Um, here's kind of an interesting one. Uh, there's this streaming service called Go90. It is uh, announced they, they're streaming all four seasons of Hellgirl. Um, and this is not remarkable really for Hellgirl, but for the fact that it's coming out on Go90, which is Verizon's streaming service. So Verizon has this thing called Go90 where um, I haven't actually dug too deeply into this. Um, it's, it had, there's an iOS and Android app, and it's basically how they deliver a bunch of content, but they're apparently getting into anime and putting some stuff on there. And apparently it does not require any fees to stream. So, like, you can just go and get the Go90 app and, and get this. Um, so it's not like you need a... Apparently, I, I, I welcome corrections, but apparently you don't need, like, a cable subscription or subscription to Verizon to, to use this. So that's kind of interesting, to see a basic cable uh, and internet provider getting some anime out there and, and on their own streaming service and not leaving it to Crunchyroll and the rest. Uh, moving on to some news about Little Busters, which um, uh, was pretty popular, uh, a couple of anime out there. They're releasing the visual novel over here. Um, the cool thing is uh, Visual Arts, the original publisher, is actually releasing an English version of it. I'm sure there's a you know an English company involved in the translation, but Visual Arts is you know did their own thing to release this, which is pretty darn cool. It'll release November first on Steam. It'll have um, it'll, you'll be able to switch between English and Japanese text. Be completely uh, 720p high def. You'll be able to zoom in and out on uh, basically letterbox versus the original 4x3 uh, visuals, and it will also have touchscreen support, which is pretty cool. Um, it'll also include all the content from Little Busters X Perfect Edition. Visual novels have lots and lots and lots of releases with lots of different little variations in each one, and there's a new character in that one. So, um, this is apparently one of the more complete versions of that 
it will be this this version. So you get a bunch of the content. Um, this was based on an announcement in 2015. <laughs> They'd be releasing this in English. What's also interesting is that the translation, at least the, according to the announcement back in 2015, they said they were going to use fan translations as a basis. So the fact that fans were out there translating this and putting it out there was actually kind of helped to make the, the official translation, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, obviously, you know, they're not going to just copy and paste the fan translation. They'll have, you know, paid translators just review it and make sure and, you know, um, fan translations are often, um, you know, different people working at it from different perspectives, so you need someone to kind of unify the, uh, you know, the, the, the language and how do people talk and especially when you can have the original staff on hand to say, well, no, she should be a little bit more upbeat, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, Crunchyroll has streamed both of the anime series, uh, Little Busters and Little Busters Refrain. Um, I believe they're still up there on Crunchyroll. They should be. <clears throat> and there have been several ports, uh, including a PS Vita port, but this is just going to be a, a Steam version, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so, yeah. Little Busters original visual novel coming over in America. That's cool. We could use more visual novels released over here, especially by the original company. That's really awesome. Uh, moving on to um, some news about a, uh, some new Peacemaker Koragane films. So classics coming back. The um, the original uh, uh, anime series is inspiring two new anime films. So they confirmed this is not just going to be a you know, reworking of the original anime. Uh, the first one is scheduled for June and the second one for fall of 2018. Some visuals have been revealed, and they're basically bringing back all the staff, uh, all, of, all of the voice actors from the TV series to do this. That's pretty cool. Um, only two of them are not coming back, not sure why. And um, also, they've uh, announced there'll also be at least uh, one, I believe, original character in this, so that's nice too. Finally, some awards, I would say some well-deserved awards, handed out by the Japanese Ministry of Cultural Affairs. They have a film awards, I believe, every year, and this year they've announced that Hirokata Takahashi won the Director of Photography Award. He worked on um, Eiso Nerai, Castle Cagliostro, and Castle in the Sky. So, yeah, pretty good Director of Photography work there. Makoto Nagishi won the Technical Coordinator Award. He worked on X and uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. And Tadashi Furukawa won the award for uh, animation ending. He did the endings for uh, original Astro Boy, Senya Ichiya Monogatari, I'm not sure what that is, and Night on the Galactic Railroad, classic children's film. Give you an idea, uh, uh, let's see here. Um, Hirokata Takahashi, the Ghibli guy, joined Toy Doga, or Toy Animation, in 1962. So these guys have been around for a while. Uh, he also worked at uh, Mushi Productions on, uh, on other things. Um, yeah, so these people have been working in anime since the very beginning, and it's pretty cool that they got some awards. Uh, that took place in, uh, in Tokyo on October 25th. Uh, we'll, the award ceremony will be on October 25th. The awards were announced uh, in, on September 25th, so just, uh, just recently. So. Good to them, good to see the Japanese Ministry of Cultural Affairs recognize great work in anime. So that's the news for the week. Hope this was helpful, and hope you see to see you next time. Until then, hope you watch more interesting anime.